For some project managers and other professionals, moving your career towards artificial intelligence is appealing. But is it a good career move? And if it is, what are the steps you need to take? Let's start by answering the question, is it a good career move to move your focus to artificial intelligence? A wide range of expert commentators all agree. Investment in AI and the revenues that will be generated by AI applications are set to increase massively. The result will be what any high school economics lesson will tell you. There will be a huge demand for AI engineers at all levels and in a wide range of specialisms. And this, in turn, will generate a boom in salaries. United States organisations are already paying six-figure dollar salaries, with the top roles in the biggest employers already attracting $200,000 or more. Big areas of focus are likely to be in cloud-based AI, no-code AI, cyber security, natural language processing, artificial intelligence of things, or AIoT, and hyper-automation. These terms, by the way, are all defined in my book, Decode the Jargon of Artificial Intelligence, which is part of my Artificial Intelligence and Project Management Professional Briefing and I'll put a link in the description. The top employers of artificial intelligence experts include a lot of the very big names. Names like Microsoft, Alphabet, Meta and Amazon, IBM, Nvidia and Adobe, Workday, Capital One and Airbnb. So yes, a move deeper into artificial intelligence can be a very lucrative career move, if it's right for you. So if it is, what roles are available and in what sectors? The many roles available range from pure research to commercial development to business-focused roles. Let's look at the common ones. Number one, research scientist. Whether in industry or in academia, Research scientists are looking for the next breakthroughs that will define the future of the technology. From this will come the next generation of applications. Number two, data scientists. These are the people who collect, clean and analyse the data from which we build predictive models and create data-driven decisions. Number three, machine learning engineer. From building infrastructure, Devising algorithms and structuring training data, machine learning engineers are the people that ensure that machine learning models become useful applications. Number four, artificial intelligence engineer. These are specialist software engineers who develop and train the artificial intelligence models. These use machine learning algorithms and neural networks. Number five, artificial intelligence consultant. Like all consultants, AI consultants help organisations who have limited internal expertise of their own to figure out what their AI strategy will need to be, and they then help them to implement that strategy. Number six, artificial intelligence product manager. As with all product managers, this is the person who oversees the product development, marketing and customer service around a single AI product. Number seven, business intelligence developer. These are the analysts who develop the systems and the models that collect vast amounts of data to predict future market trends. These trends are then used to make decisions and to plan campaigns. Number eight, big data engineers and architects. They design, plan and develop the systems that host the vast data stores that organizations need and they also design the interfaces that allow the organization's other systems to access that data. So those are the roles, but what about the sectors? Well, the simple answer is all of them. 
every sector of commerce and public life will be affected by the need for artificial intelligence solutions. From pharmaceutical to transportation, software to retailing, and from finance to government. No sector will want to be left out, and all sectors will make use of artificial intelligence and want to employ artificial intelligence experts. So if you're still interested, what are the skills that you will need to acquire to make artificial intelligence a bigger part of your professional portfolio? To optimize your chances of succeeding in working in an AI related discipline, you'll need to acquire a range of skills. The extent to which you'll need each of them and the balance among them will depend very much on the particular role and the particular sector that you're going for. So here is a long list of the types of skills that you need to be working on. First, mathematics in general and linear algebra, statistics and probability theory in particular. Second, programming, especially in one of the following languages. Python, Java, JavaScript, C++, Julia and R. Third, working with data, data engineering, data analysis and data security. And fourth, of course, AI technologies themselves. Machine learning, natural language processing, deep learning, computer vision and neural networks. So if that's what you need to know, how can you prepare yourself to take on more artificial intelligence related responsibilities? I'd suggest there are five essential steps to building artificial intelligence into a larger part of your career. However, these steps will overlap with one another and you will constantly need to adjust your plan to accommodate a rapidly changing professional and technological environment. First, you need to do your research. Understand in depth the options that are available to you. And from that, determine what future roles might be right for you. This needs to be in the context of your personality, your skill set, your preferences, your career priorities, and the locally available options, unless you're prepared to travel. Second, start talking to people. Start with networking. Get to meet as many people as you can and talk to them about the sort of things that will help you to crystallize your plan and to understand the sector. As they help you to refine your understanding, you may need to do even more research. Third, there is no substitute for gaining experience. I've listed some of the skills you need, so start by gaining experience in as many of these areas as possible. This has two benefits. First, it will help you to build your resume or curriculum vitae. And secondly, it will help you to determine what you're good at and what you enjoy. High among your priorities, of course, will be programming. Learn one programming language to start with and perhaps a second one. Fourth, get yourself some training and maybe some certifications. There are many, many options from short, free courses all the way up to formal academic qualifications at master's or even doctoral level. For working people, professional certifications are a powerful option. You can study in your own time and get a certificate that will be valued by employers. I recommend the suite of courses offered by the United States Artificial Intelligence Institute. I've put links in the description along with an exclusive discount code that you can use with them. I'm affiliated to the USAII, and if you choose to buy with the discount through my affiliated links, then you will be supporting the free content on this channel. And finally, at number five, keep up to date. As with all professional skills, continuing professional development or CPD is essential. But it is perhaps even more so here because of the pace at which these technologies are evolving and changing and the commercial applications of them are growing. If you want to stay in this sector, 
You will need to commit to learning your way through it and to adapting your career from year to year or even from month to month. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or learned from it. I'll be making loads more great project management videos for you, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of them. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.